Hey everybody, how's it going? Professor Butler here. Uh, quick little video I want to make about Aon units. A question I get a lot when it comes to connecting to it, either via the modular handheld service tool, the modular system manager, the touchscreen, or the Prism software. There's a few different ways you can connect it to the Orion Wattmaster controls. Like here you have the modular service tool, which I have right here. The modular system manager, which I also have here on another unit, which I'll show you in a minute. The touchscreen I don't have, and the Prism 2 software I have as well. Now the first step is to connect to the main board here, which is a VCMX. Up in the upper corner here, if I can get it here. Now, this black cable, which is an S video cable that you would see on older televisions, but you connect it into the service tool and to its port up here on the VCM X controller. Now, if you see the green Phoenix connector to the left hand, if there's wires on there, be the communication link, you need to disconnect that before you connect the handheld. Once the handheld's connected, you can power it on. See if I can get a good angle here so you can see it. Okay. So if there's no comm link and this is a standalone unit, you can set the time and date if you want. Uh, the important part is communications, number two. So hit two. All right, so the different options you have are low speed connection, high speed connection, standalone, network system low speed, network system high speed. So for standalone operations like we have here, you're gonna wanna go to standalone mode, low speed, and then it says, Hit enter to select that. It says you have changed. And then it should go right into asking for the address. Press any key to continue. Okay, so right here we want to hit escape. Okay, standalone mode. So now we know we're good. Thursday, the date, time. So now depending on what you want to do, which mode you want to go into. So let's just say status. We want to see what the unit's doing. So we hit status. Now it's going to ask for the unit ID. Now the unit ID has to do with this address right here. Okay. So whichever switch is to the left is what you're going to add. It's a binary numbering system. Grow exponentially. The top switch is worth one, the second switch is worth two, the third switch is four, the fourth switch is eight, and so on. So this one is one. So what we want to do here is you want to hit one, enter, then when you see it disappear here, you just press down. Okay, so now we are in the status menu. What a lot of people do wrong is they will press status, one, enter, and then status again. And then they say, I can't get into the handheld, and they forget to press down. So I always picture it as being in a menu going from left to right. So if you look at it like this, each one here. So once you hit it, you're going into it, and then you just press down to get to all the settings. So we have one, so I'll hit status, one, enter, and then down. And you can go through all your temperatures, settings, you know, this is just status, so we're just gonna view what's going on. Now 
inside these Orion Wattmaster VCMX controllers, there are a ton of settings. Uh, I'm not going to go through the settings in this video because it really pertains to the unit you have and what the application is. If you're having trouble with the handheld or want to run through the settings, just call the tech support at 1-866-918-1100. Just have your model and serial number ready. This is the PRISM software. The software is free to download, but you must purchase a module and cable from your distributor or from their website. The PRISM software has all the same information as the handheld, just in an easier to view interface, also with graphics of the equipment it's connected to, like in a building automation system. Well, that's it for this video. In a future video, I will cover Aeon units more in depth. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments if you have any questions or any ideas for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.